Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about meaning and degrees of price elasticity of demand. So what is price elasticity of demand? As we know, demand change when price change. As we know, demand change when price change. And price elasticity of demand basically measure how much our demand change to change in price. Please listen carefully. Price elasticity of demand basically measure how much our demand change to change in price. Or we can say that price elasticity of demand measure the extent to which change in price affect the demand for product. And formula of calculating price elasticity of demand is percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price. And here we put a minus sign because demand and price have a negative relation. Now we will see degrees or we can say the types of price elasticity of demand. First type is perfectly elastic demand. Second is perfectly inelastic demand. Third is unitary elastic demand. Next is greater than unitary elastic demand. Last is less than unitary elastic demand. One by one we will discuss about each. First type of price elasticity of demand is perfectly elastic demand. Perfectly elastic demand means when your demand expands or contracts to any extent without or very little change in price. Perfectly elastic demand means when your demand expands or contracts to any extent without or very little change in price. Or we can say that in case of perfectly elastic demand, our demand can change to any extent without or very little change in price. That's why in this case, price will remain constant or will little bit change. But our demand can change to any extent. In this table, you can see our price is same 20, 20, but our demand is increasing from 2 to 4. Same thing you can see with the help of this diagram. On x-axis we have quantity demanded, on y-axis we have price. Our price is same 20, but at same price our demand is increasing from 2 to 4. If our price will little bit increase or change, our demand can change more, means our demand can reduce more, even it can become zero. With the help of one example, we will clearly understand it. Suppose quality and price of two shampoos, L'Oreal and Tresemme is exactly same. At common price, you can buy L'Oreal 2, 4 or as much as quantities you want. But if, if price of L'Oreal will little bit change or we can say little bit increase, then your demand can reduce more, even it can become zero. Because now why should you buy L'Oreal? You will buy Tresima because quality of Tresima is exactly same and price of Tresima is the same as it was earlier, only L'Oreal price is increased. That's why now you will reduce quantities of L'Oreal more and will buy Tresima. Second type of price elasticity of demand is perfectly inelastic demand. Perfectly inelastic demand is a situation where demand does not change at all no matter how much price is changing. Perfectly inelastic demand is a situation where demand does not change at all no matter how much price is changing. For example, in case of medicines. We have to buy it no matter how much price of medicines is increasing. In this uh, table you can see price of uh, product is increasing from 10 to 15, from 15 to 20, but our demand is same 2 to 2. Same thing you can see in this diagram, our price is increasing from OP1 to OP2, from OP2 to OP3, but our demand is same OD. Next type is unitary elastic demand. Unitary elastic demand is a situation in which percentage change in demand exactly equal to percentage change in price. Unitary elastic demand is a situation in which percentage change in demand exactly equal to percentage change in price. In this table you can see our price increase from 20 to 30 means our price increase by 50 percent 
in response to price our demand reduced 40 to 20 means our demand reduced by 50 percent here you can see percentage change in demand is exactly equal to percentage change in price in this diagram you can see on x axis we have quantity demanded on y axis we have price our price increased by 50 percent in response to price our demand reduced by 50 percent dd is our demand curve for example, when sale is going on, you are getting so much discount. Then you will buy so many kurtis, groceries, t-shirts, sarees, etc. But when sale is ended, you will buy half of product as you were earlier buying. Next type is greater than unitary elastic demand. Greater than unitary elastic demand is a situation in which percentage change in demand is more than percentage change in price greater than unitary elastic demand is a situation in which percentage change in demand is more than percentage change in price in this table you can see our price increases from 100 to 150 means price increases by 50 percent in response to price our demand reduces from 400 to 100 means demand reduces by 75 percent here you can see percentage change in demand is more than percentage change in price same thing you can see in this diagram our price increases by 50 percent in response to price our demand reduces by 75 percent dd is our demand curve for example, as we know, Tata Gold price is higher than Tata Premium. Obviously, Tata Gold tea uh, quality is better than Tata Premium tea. Earlier, you were buying Tata Premium tea because of lower price. But at price of Tata Premium increase, you reduce its quantity more. Because now you think that uh, there is few differences uh, between price of Tata Premium and Tata Gold then why should you do compromise with quality? That's why now you stop buying Tata Premium and start buying Tata Gold. Next type is less than unitary elastic demand. Less than unitary elastic demand is a situation in which percentage change in demand is less than percentage change in price. Less than unitary elastic demand is a situation in which percentage change in demand is less than percentage change in price in this table you can see our price increases from 10 to 20 means price uh, increases by 100 percent in response to price our demand reduces from 4 to 3 means uh, demand reduces by 25 percent here you can see percentage change in demand is less than percentage change in price same thing you can see in this diagram, our price increases by 100%. In response to price, our demand reduces only 25%. DD is our demand curve. For example, petrol. If price of petrol will increase, you cannot reduce its demand more. Because there are some places where you have to go. For example, you have to go your office, you have to go to buy groceries, to pick and drop your child, etc. So this is all about price elasticity of demand. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye, take care.